What link should I put on my social media profile? Should I use a bio link? If you can't decide if you should put your website link, booking link, bio link, YouTube link, blog post link, freebie link, whatnot link on your social media profiles, keep on watching. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm a brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches and entrepreneurs plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media and tech burnout. Today, I want to talk about one of the common questions I get from new coaches, which link they should use for their social media profile and if they should use a bio link. First, we're going to talk about what a bio link is. And then I'm going to explain to you different strategies and different links to use from my unbiased perspective. And in the end, I'm going to give you my personal recommendation about which link is the best link to use for your social media profile. So let's start. What is a bio link? A bio link is a link when you click on it, you go to a single page that has multiple buttons and each button is taking you to a different offer that you may have or a different link you may have, different pl platform you may have. Sounds great, right? Well, yeah. Well, the most common apps you may know is Linktree. So you may be familiar with that. However, as a bonus tip, I'll explain to you what is my favorite way of creating a bio link at the end of this video. So make sure to watch it until the end. So now that we know what a bio link is, let's talk about different links we can put on the social media profiles that we have. What link you use for your social media profile all depends on what you're focusing on at the time and your strategy. Let me explain. Let's say you are focusing on building a YouTube channel and you want more people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So if that's what you're focusing on, then I would put uh, each new video's link on my social media profile so that I can create social media content to send my reach to the new video that I make every day. And of course, give them a call to action saying, uh, subscribe to my channel. Same for the blog. I would put the new blog post link uh, each time and send traffic from my social media to the blog post if my intent is to uh, bring traffic to my, send traffic to my blog. If the intent is brand awareness or brand recognition, yeah, sure, you can put your website on there. If you are in the lead generation phase or list building, then you can put your freebie. And if you already have a, you know, big following, um, then you can put your bio link there so that your following may want to go out and check all the links out. Now, why do I say that? Number one, when you put a bio link, that means that you are given multiple call to actions to your leads. You know me, I always preach about giving one call to action. And the reason is so that they don't have too many different decisions to make. Call it buyer psychology or call it human nature if you want to. But we tend to go into the analysis paralysis mode when we're given too many options. And because the content consumer's attention span is very short, we want to give them one call to action so that they can go to that link and do what we ask them to do. Instead of sitting there and picking out, um, should I look at the freebie? Should I look at the YouTube channel? Should I look at the blog? Should I? That's why, in my opinion, it's better if you put just one link there so that you're given one call to action. That way, your engagement and conversion would be a lot higher than given multiple options. Now, unless if you have a big following, you can put a bio link. This may work a lot better with someone who has a bigger following than someone who has a smaller social media account and working on generating leads. Before I tell you my personal opinion, I'll tell you what's the best way to create a bio link if you decide to use a bio link. 
and you can watch my YouTube video that I made about this before showing you step by step. It's a tutorial showing you step by step um, how you can create a bio link in your domain so that you are actually driving traffic to your domain. Because every time someone clicks on that Linktree link, then they're driving traffic to Linktree unless someone clicks on one of the other buttons that you have there. But if you create a bio link in your own domain, every time someone clicks on that link, even if they decide not to click on any other options afterwards, you get traffic to your own domain. Now time for my personal recommendation. Unless you are launching a new offer and that's what you need to promote, whatever strategy and whatever you're focusing on at the time, I would put the link to my lead magnet on my social media profile. The reason why is because if you capture their email address, you can promote anything you want. Whatever stage, whatever season of your launch campaign you're in, you can do anything you want. You can do brand awareness, brand recognition. You can do a YouTube channel. You can, you can get more subscribers to your blog post or, or eyes on your blog post. Anything you're promoting, you can go through your email list. So that's why. That's why I always recommend you to have an evergreen social media strategy, meaning referring your reach to your email list. And that way you can turn them into warm leads and that way you can turn them into clients. So that's why that's my recommendation. Now, bonus tip. If you decide to use a bio link, like I said, if you decide to use another app like Linktree or there are other apps too that I can't think of right now, the first click on that link, that traffic goes to that app unless they click on one of the other links that goes to your links. So in order to prevent this from happening, create a single page in your own domain. You can do this from, by using Canva and put your own buttons there so that you can take um, them to different offer with each button. But at the same time, as soon as they click on this link, that is traffic that comes to your domain, which is gonna help you build your domain authority as well. And if you wanna learn how to do this, a very simple way of doing this on Canva, I have a YouTube video, a tutorial for you. So I'm gonna put the link in the below in the description and you can watch it and step by step, you can go through and create your bio link if you wanna use that option. But like I said, always choose the evergreen option. Always think about your efforts counting permanently instead of temporarily. So bring them to your um, email list, make them your asset, make them your asset as a lead um, that turns into a quality lead that turns into a client in the end. Let me know what the most helpful information was today in this video for you in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.